everyone and welcome to another video from Andy's Shed. This is a view of where we do our um, Sunday night live streams from but from a different angle to what you normally see it um, because I'm using a different camera because I'm doing something a bit different today. You'll see I've got a knife in my hand and that's because I'm doing something that I said I would never do but well, everybody else is doing it, so let's do an unboxing video. So, here's the box. This has just arrived, literally, moments ago. Um, or at least, I've just found it outside the front door moments ago. Uh, when it arrived I've got no idea so I've just, I've just come in I've been out for a couple of hours and I just found it waiting outside the front door for me um, so I think I know what's inside it and I think you'll quite like it if you're a regular viewer anyway interesting thick packages and this is a piece of cardboard when you drop it on the floor it's like a lead weight <laughs> um, right let us see what we have got here as you probably see already it's telephone shaped Set there, fairly late handset because it's got the little sort of pepper pot holes in there rather than one big hole in the middle. So it's a fairly late handset. Have we got the date or anything on it? What one after you are. Probably is, but I just can't see it because I'd have to take the take the wires off. Cost the wires are in the way of seeing it. But yeah, it could be could be sort of mid um, 80s old thing. spider in the case there. <laughs> um, and just look at the state. I don't think I've ever seen such a grotty phone. Uh, can you, I don't know if this is going to show up on the camera or not, but just look at the state of it. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. say West Mercia 
<laughs> Dial 151 for the repair service. It says on the Dial label. Right, yeah. Might have to try that. Um, right. So that's the first one. Just needs slight restoration, perhaps, that one. So I'll put that to one side a moment. This phone is in an even worse state than the first one. Just look. Uh, how filthy it is. That is supposed to be a clear finger wheel, believe it or not. Um, but there's a regulator sticking up in the back there, which means this must be a 706. But just look at the amount of dirt in it. So let's turn it over. And it was refurbished in 1977, but according to this, originally it was a 706 CB, dating from 1960, so a very, very early one before it got refurbished. Obviously it had new feet when it got refurbished because these feet didn't have the depression in the middle when uh, when they did the first few 706s the feet were just sort of a plain thing they didn't have that bit cut out of the middle so that is a very early potentially very interesting 706 if we could restore it not even a case on that one. So. Right, what have we got here? Board. Just left. interesting phone. Grey phones are generally a bit boring. There were a lot of them. Um, but this is one of the more interesting grey phones because it's a Mark 1 746. You can tell it's a Mark 1 because of the shape of the uh, handset rest along here. Um, it's not got that sort of cut out bit. It's just a, a smooth curve. So it's the Mark 1 that stopped, make, stopped, put, stopped fitting these cases rather in about 1973-ish. Uh, this does actually date from 1973. It says on it under there, 73 and it's a 746, which it is. So that's quite a nice example of a grey 746 you get a lot of grey phones um, I don't normally bother buying the grey ones but that's as grey phones go that's a reasonable example of one of course none of these have been converted still got the whole thing that went into the into the little box on the wall there but at least this one is reasonably clean And finally, in here, and this is possibly one for Christopher 2000 if he's watching this. Um, this is actually what I bought it for. And again, you won't believe the state of it. Just look at the state of that, there's all paint or God knows what on it. <laughs> but 
but that is supposed to be a green handset believe it or believe it not in fact it is supposed to be a green phone all round this um, but what the eagle eye of you may have spotted is that it's got a numbered dial bezel, an original one painted on the back although it's got quite a bit of paint on the front as well that we'll need to get off, it will kind of scratch off with a thumbnail by the looks of it um, it was supplied by AEI by the looks of it so it's a 706 but it's a 706 clone of some description uh, now underneath it says, I don't know if you can read that or not, it does say 706L AEG 60 something 67 and it's a Mark 2A so it was made in 1967 and it's a 706L but it's not a 706L because it's only got a numbered Dale Bass, it's not got the letters in, letters on it. So, I believe that this was on the 706 production line, but then got took off that production line um, to be sold privately. Um, and the state of it, it is covered in gunge, really absolutely covered. I don't think I've ever seen a phone so bad. Um, we're in the middle at the moment with the live shows of uh, doing a restoration of what I've called the worst 746 ever and I think this could be the worst 700 series phone in general ever. I dread to think what this one's like inside. So there is what I've got this afternoon. So here's what we've got today. We've got a Mark 1 746. We've got a later 746, just a fairly standard uh, Mark 2 ivory one. But a very grotty example of it. What was originally a CB version of a 706 and this very very grotty 706 clone I think you can call it although it did obviously originally come off the main 706 production line. Well I hope you've enjoyed this video and a look at these rather grotty telephones. My hands are absolutely filthy. Um, I am going to be restoring at least some of them uh, in the future so keep an eye out for the restoration videos. Also remember to keep watching us on a Sunday evening at 6 o'clock in the UK for Andy's Shed Live. Some of these phones might be popping up on there. And if you've not done so already Give us a like and give us a subscribe on the video. Everyone really does help support the channel. So, thanks for watching and until next time, see you soon.